Our story begins just over a century from now, at a time where humanity have united to colonize the solar system and are enjoying relative peace and acceptable prosperity. Far away from public awareness, quantum leaps are secretly being made by the Interplanetary Treaty Organization after ITO scientists discovered ways to connect parallel dimensions using zero-point energy. A special deep space drone called Interstellar 1 was launched to transport a remote dimensional link to another solar system at near the speed of light. The destination was Valhalla, a habitable planet orbiting Wolf 1061 just 13.8 light years from Earth. Once in orbit around Valhalla, Interstellar 1 deployed its drones to land on the surface and automatically began construction of a remote dimensional link portal. Back at ITO's Space Development Center, below the cold surface of the moon, it was time to sync the two-dimensional link portals after more than 13 years of nervously waiting for a signal. History was made that day, when the dimensional link sequence unlocked the time and space between the two portals and work could finally begin to construct the first human colony outside our solar system. It was now time to evaluate the Interstellar Warfare Initiative, ITO's first line of defense against all threats outside our solar system. In charge of the Interstellar Warfare Initiative was ITO veteran General Sebastian Travis, and he just ordered a full evaluation of the three primary defense programs. Titan Walker from ITO Cybernetic Robotics, Acheridon Polymers from Biological Genetics, and Interstellar Marines, a new enhanced human operative program of Special Forces from ITO. Program evaluations are taking place at the vault, ITO's most advanced military facility on Earth, enclosed deep beneath Groom Lake, Nevada. Supervised by Sarah, ITO's central neural network AI, Sarah will program artificial weather and advanced combat training robots to test each warfare initiative to the limits. This is where the game begins. The inspiration for our gameplay ambitions is primarily derived from Rainbow Six Raven Shield, Deus Ex, System Shock 2 and Half-Life. We've invested everything we've earned in Early Access back into developing the core experience available today. First person simulating helmet and tactical HUD, smooth character movement and weapon handling to create a real sense of presence of your body in the game. We've laid the groundwork in AI, allowing robots to navigate, operate weapons and perform basic melee attacks. We currently have two work-in-progress mission simulations available in both single-player and co-op. Assault on Star Crown Aerospace. Infiltrate the tight security at Star Crown Research and try to steal the plans for the Altair project. The Neurogen Incident. Board the Neurogen Research Station to find out why scientists have killed everybody on board. We've also made five small incursions, escape from nucleus, terrorist hunt on Stronghold, and Mainline, and survival on operations and colony. Finally, we have introduced our unique sandbox combat arena in the making called War Games. War Games is nine distinct interconnected environment zones, each running on its own server, allowing 64 players to join in the scavenge for combat points, playing alone or in co-op. With funding, we can shift our focus towards completing the game, implement the most advanced mechanics of our character controller, such as lean, parkour and PDA interactions, complete the essential arsenal of weapons, extensions and tactical equipment, Develop the core role-playing mechanics, introducing character, weapon and equipment skills and inventory system. Expand the AI systems for the training robot, Titan Walker and Shark Creature. Establish career progression across a variety of additional missions and incursions. And create the terrifying end-game experience, where General Travis arranged an unsanctioned, lethal confrontation between all three programs, completely obsessed with identifying the superior warfare initiative and the subsequent conclusion to the game, story and character aftermath. Our estimated capital requirement for completing and releasing Instamarine's aspiration out of early access on Steam and expand onto PS4 and Xbox One is currently $1.7 million. We've already sold 150,000 copies on Steam Early Access so far. With an estimated retail price of $30, the break-even on investment will be roughly 80,000 copies sold across all platforms. We're looking for a visionary publisher or other knowledgeable investor interested and capable of funding our project. We're offering a 25% of IP ownership and a reserved 150% return on investment from first copy sold. Please do not hesitate to send us an email if that publisher or investor is you. Thank you for your time.